Hello, welcome to another video. Here we have this challenge before us here. Ah, this is not your normal um, polynomial equation or normal quadratic equation because look at the position of the two and look at the size of the two itself. Then look at the size of the x we have here and see our equality side here. So this is not x to the power of two because the two is written on the left hand side top there okay and it's also smaller compared to if we were to be uh, a quadratic equation okay so this is what we call a titration equation how do we solve this titration equation or how do we express this all right this is all i must tv if you're new here and if you do not subscribe subscribe so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video so how do we solve for the value of x here so this is what we read or this is red x titrated 2 equal to pi s titrated 2 equal to pi so what is the value of x here so let's take our solution from here all right i know titration equations are not common okay in fact they are out of the scheme of work in our colleges and because of the nature of figures or answers that emanate from there but well, they can easily go out of range or um, so huge, they are so large, so they are not considered in most cases. Okay, so now how do we now express this? Here, yeah, it is the same thing as x to the power of x equal to pi. So x raised to the power of x equal to pi is written x titrated 2 equal to pi. So with this now, this is our exponential expression. So it's not clearer and it's easier to solve, right? Good. So what do we do here now? Can we think of raising this part of the equation to five itself? So that at the end we now have x equal to five. And if we decide to raise this to the power of five, we must raise this to the power of five. And so this will be altered. And so what we do, we think of another way of expressing this. Okay, now we're going to make use of the Lambert WN function, which is um, what we call the product law. Okay, so what we do from here, we just have to ln both sides of the equation. So we're going to say ln of our x all raised to the power of x, then this is equal to the ln of our 5 in here. Now, if we decide to put this in bracket, then this is an exponent, as we all know. And according to the law of logarithm, we say that if you have the ln of your a, this a please, r to the power of your m, then move this exponent backward here. And so this is going to give us our m times the ln of our a. Okay, so according to this law so far, then we can rewrite this expression we have here. So we want to move this exponent here now down to this side of the expression. And so this is going to give us our x times ln of our x then equal to the ln of 5 in here. Good. So what we do here is easy. Look at our we just have to rewrite our according to another law which says that if you have your e always to the power of ln of let's take a then this is same thing or equal to our a. Why? Because this ln of e is this e, sorry, ln is this e, and this is our e. So this, this leaves the system. So this will still give us our e. Okay? So we can rewrite our x here by bringing e to the power of ln, this e. So this is going to rewrite to give us something beautiful. So this is going to give us our um, e all raised to the power of ln of our x times our ln of x in here. I put this in bracket here. Everything equal to the ln of our five here. This does not change anything. Again, let's put this in bracket. Okay. Now, with what we have in here now, but let's write it to get a clearer picture of what we want to do now. So we have the ln of x times r e all raised to the power of ln of 
S close bracket equal to ln of R5 in here. Easy, right? Good. So what we do, look at what we have at the base here, ln of x, and then same thing we have at the exponent ln of x. And according to the product law, it says that if you have, for instance, you have your um let's take a star, I normally use a star times uh, e or raised to a star, then you decide to take the Lambert W function of this good to give us a star. Okay, so the condition is that what we have at the base must be same, what we have at the exponent. And that condition is met here. And so we can apply the product law here. So doing that this is going to give us our W uh, into the ln of our X yeah, uh, times our E to the power of our X here. Then close bracket, this is equal to the ln of our Y in here. Easy, right? Good. So what we do next year now? Oh, all right, we have to take the ln, uh, the w function also. So we have to take the w function here too. Okay? All right, because whatever we do to the left hand side, we must do the same to the right hand side. So we take the w function of both sides of the equation. All right, so here we're going to have this to be the ln of our x now be equal to the w of our ln of our x, close bracket. Okay. Now we're looking for s. So how do we get our x here now? We bring e into the system. Look at this expression we have in here now. So we already write this as our e r to the power of ln of x. And this is equal to our e r to the power of w bracket ln of our 5. Yes, five. What is the problem with me? What am I thinking of? Our part of this. This is 5, please. Okay. Then our 5 here yeah, was bracket yeah okay all right so yeah like what we did here yeah, according to this um law we said this will go with this right and so this will go with this and so we're going to have our x left here right we're going to have x and that be equal to our e r to the power of w and bracket our ln of five bracket of close yeah, we're going to have a nice solution to our expression of power root here. A nice solution to our x here. All right, so for you to get your numerical value from here, all you just need to do is to plug this value into the Wolfram Upper Calculator. You can either use the soft copy or the hard copy that you get your answer. All right, so this brings us to the end of today's math class. Thanks for being there. See you in our next class. Bye. Come